Hello, my lovely Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do you need to know? Someone's chasing after you. They're going to lock it down, Sagittarius, okay? We have marrying here. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. I think that came out in Pisces and Gemini's reading as well, okay? I feel like someone abruptly ended a connection with you due to finances or time management. They just simply they couldn't, they didn't have time for relationship. This left you completely off guard and you had some words for them, Sagittarius, rightfully so here, okay? Um, this was just something that they should have said a while ago. Instead, they chose to leave you on for some of you, Sagittarius, okay? Um, you're, there's a lot of heaviness that I feel in regards to your energy, Sagittarius, that you need to clear out and we will, you know, start to see and um, have clarity on what you need to do here okay we do have a full moon coming in on august 30th showing up i see this queen of pentacles energy is in reverse this could be someone you don't trust in regards to money at her time this could be a mother figure as well for some of you here uh we do have you've been strained from your mother relationship we have the star card in reverse with temperate sagittarius here you are Someone's definitely thinking about you They're in your energy. But again, I don't know why that, that was very to clear. Someone's taking a break from their mother. It's just too much. You need to have time to balance out your energy here. Someone could be moving out of their parents' house. But anyway, this could be this person as well, overbearing mother. That's what that third-party energy is showing up. You know, chaser, relationship, a fear of abandonment, ego issues. They could have issues with their mom. But again, Sagittarius, someone's thinking about you. They, they, they want to they act you out. And again, they're saving money because they want to be able to date you. They want to be able to take you out. But it's like there's some ego pride issues that got in the way. Oh, I see, Sagittarius. Okay. I'll see if I can break this down. Yeah, thinking about reaching out, I'm not surprised. That's why I was picking up and I looked at your social media with that think about you in public, hoping to see you exactly. Okay. They're so ego driven, and it's like Sagittarius, you're very supportive. All they had to do was talk to you and open up, and they simply couldn't do that. It's like they're really in their head, just bothering me, Sagittarius, because you love support them no matter what. And it's like they're very ego driven, driven to where they're ashamed or embarrassed to tell you about what they're going through, which is so insane to me. But again, you know, we are in Mercury retrograde, the energy is in balance right now. Uh, you know, it will be in balance until September what, 15th. So the will is turning. This person is really starting to get out of their head because I'm getting like really blocked off with this person's energy. They got to stop thinking or feeling embarrassed or ashamed about things. Yeah, they're going to apologize. You can expect the apology you want to hear. They're getting advice about you. Feeling really lost at the moment. I feel like someone's going to tell them, you got to get out of your head. Just make a decision and go from there. Do you want to stop weighing, stop letting it weigh on yourself? So... You know, like I said, the full moon is August 30th. This could be within two weeks after the full moon as well, where this person will slowly start to drop the dead weight. This could be you as well, dropping the dead weight. Focusing on healing, focusing on your passion and your goals to help clear this out, Sagittarius, all right? So take a time period to be stagnant, okay? You, you, you need to realign your goals, what you need to do here. But again, this person will take a leap of faith once they get out their heads here. But again, you have to take action on your emotions and take baby steps, okay? Because again, you guys are marrying each other. Your self-image reflects wounds. They're so looking at your social media, like I said here, watching, looking, stalking, outdated thinking, we, events replaying over and over in their heads it's, it's a lot <laughs> so you, you know work on your wellness work out do things that you need to change your energy journal you're really blocked in your head and again focus on your money your stability your success because again the skills are going to keep being lopsided here probably a few more weeks you got to make a decision, though. You both need to. So you guys are on the same ring lift. I'm very curious as to how September love readings will go. Because, you know, leading up until September, it's going to be a lot of changing these energies back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So the best thing that you can do is embrace your masculine energy. Remain grounded to try to clear out your head and be patient and calm with yourself. Because you're going through transformations after transformations, Sagittarius. You will make a decision soon. But again, it's time to be selfish with your energy. Focus on yourself. Let go of control issues and allow this to happen naturally, all right? Anything else that Sagittarius for you guys? What do they need to say? 
play. Yeah, have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious right now. It's not a time to be so serious. You are protected. Call back your power and cut the cords, okay? The great gathering, it is all coming together. You're going through a massive awakening. Intuitive hits soul tribe. You will get the partnership that you want. Cupid arrows is coming. Have faith, surprise, imitation, or meaning at their relationship that is over. You're going and transforming your life here, all right? I'm going to leave you here, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful week.